Hello, friends and clients. This is Dr. Gary Senderoff with Cruise Planners, your leading cruise specialist. And today we are embarking upon an ultimate adventure on the Radiance class ships and what you can expect when you book a cruise on Radiance, Brilliance, Serenade, and Jewel of the Seas. So we're going to be covering dining, entertainment, food, and a few extra bonuses. So stay tuned for the scoop. So before we get started, I'm going to display my email address so you can get in touch with me to get the very best value for your next cruise. Never ever book directly with Royal Caribbean or any other cruise line as they don't have a value tracker like I do and I'll always guide you the right way and best of all, I don't even charge a fee. So you're always going to get the same rate as Royal Caribbean or lower, but you're going to get a perk such as an onboard credit with me and of course that value tracker. So hit me up at gary.senderoff at cruiseplanners.com. And if you've already deposited with a Royal Caribbean cruise, that's okay too. You could email me and there's a possibility you could transfer it over to me and I'll add those onboard perks for you. So let's start with the heart of the ship. This is the Centrum. This is the lobby area, which is a great place to orient yourself and a lot of activity happens here as well. There are touch screens that you could interact with to orient yourself as to where you are and where you need to go. Also, each elevator bank, you're going to see a silhouette of the ship and it always points towards the front, forward. So at least you know what direction you're traveling in. Going up. One of the things people really like about this class of ship is the windows on one side of the center elevator banks. It is floor to ceiling windows expanding several decks, which is really cool because it allows natural light in and it gives you these expansive views of the ocean or the port that you're visiting. So I'm going to cover the specialty restaurants and the chef's table, but everyone's fare includes the main dining room, which is pictured here. 
So the menu for dinner at the main dining room usually changes each night. And this is why I'm going to focus a little bit more on the specialty restaurants. So stay tuned. So the Windjammer Marketplace is the buffet, and it's always open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's a quick eatery, and it's always casual, and actually has some pretty healthy options, as well as a diverse selection each night. I definitely do not mind the Windjammer Buffet. It's nice to have a casual dining and quick bite. And you could sit anywhere you want. There's a lot of seating areas, including the semi-outdoor area. There's 24-hour coffee if you want it. And there's an outdoor area that you can sit in, which looks at the wake of the ship, which is my favorite part to look at. So how could you go wrong with the Windjammer? A lot of people don't like it. I happen to actually enjoy it. Quick, easy. I'll meet you there. Let's have a quick dinner. So now that we've seen what it looks like, let's get an idea of what the food is like. Here is some options that you might have during different meal times. And on every Royal Caribbean ship, you're of course going to find some specialty dining restaurants such as Chop's Steakhouse. And if you're looking for a delicious filet mignon with peppercorn sauce, or maybe an organic chicken among many other things, then you should definitely try Chop's. So if you're in a party of four or five people, these banquettes are super private and they're really, really a nice place to dine for a family and that kind of thing. Or of course, always use my pro tip and take a table by the window if you're dining with you and your significant other or friend. The chops bread is usually pretty good and always popular is the jumbo shrimp cocktail. But of course, everyone comes here for the filet mignon and folks, don't make fun of me. I like it very well done. The crab cakes are really good too. And I take them into my room for room service. Chops also has a lunch and I think it's the best hamburger at sea. Giovanni's table is another favorite of Royal Caribbean specialty dining. And here, of course, as the name would suggest, you have more of an Italian flair. It's also open for lunch at times, but mostly for dinner every night. And you can enjoy a table for two again by the window if that's your choice. We don't get them from Prince Edward Island? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And for those of you craving really good sushi and other Japanese food, Izumi has you covered. From sushi to miso soup to seaweed, poke bowls, and even great tempura, this is the place for you. some some fish stuff with salmon and scallops baked on top and a nice spicy enjoy
So if you've done chef's table before on any other Royal Caribbean ship, it is the same cuisine no matter what ship you're on. The setting is a little bit different. On this ship, it is in a private little dining area, which is really nice, especially if you're sharing this experience with some good friends or family or your significant other. It's also worthy to note that you don't have to have it, but it is a wine pairing. So that is also included at the chef's table. And I had, I had actually finished all six of my glasses of wine and had seconds. And the Latitudes Cafe, Latte Tudes, if we will is modeled after Starbucks, there's no doubt, except for their eatery. So yeah, let me have my venti white chocolate mocha with almond milk, please. The solarium is an adults only covered pool area, super relaxing, especially if you're in colder climates, which I was on this particular cruise on the Jewel of the Seas. So it's a really nice place to relax, go in the pool, absolutely wonderful, just disconnect. A lot of people just lay there and they just enjoy the sounds of the pool. And they even put in forest sounds at night. It's actually a really cool place to go. I highly recommend it. And the solarium has a little cafe in it with little sandwiches, desserts, and light fare, as well as pizza up until 2 o'clock in the morning. So it's a really cool place to go. So one of my favorite things to do on a Royal Caribbean ship is to see the shows. They have a wonderful cast usually, as well as really great guest entertainers in a really nice Broadway style theater. And I'll show you a sample for yourself. Royal Caribbean and celebrity cruises usually do not disappoint when it comes to entertainment. They go all out. It used to be Norwegian Cruise Line, but with their cutbacks, it is now Royal Caribbean and celebrity who are king of entertainment. If you like entertainment, this is definitely the ship and the cruise line for you. But don't take my word for it. Here is a little sampling of what you might expect on a Royal Caribbean or celebrity cruise.
Vintages is another popular staple on all Royal Caribbean ships. On this ship, it is right off the centrum, really nicely decorated, and it's a really great place to go, meet your friends, get some drinks, and just enjoy a leisure night out on the town on this ship. One of the nice things about it is that you can just come in, you don't have to drink, and you could just use the facilities to just hang out. One of the most iconic things about a Royal Caribbean ship is the Viking Crown Lounge, which are public lounges with floor to ceiling windows surrounding the steam stack. Now, they've sadly divided these places to include the Vortex, which doubles up as a nightclub, the Diamond Lounge, and the Suite Lounge. So they do have partitions. It used to be one open space. So at least you could still go into the Vortex and enjoy those beautiful views. One of the other cool things I really like about this class of ship is that on every stairwell, on every floor, they have really good original art. They've really, really invested a lot of money in their art, and I appreciate that. So I hope you do too if you're a big art lover like I am. And if you are a piano bar person, you will love the schooner bar. Here, there's always a talented musician usually playing the piano, but sometimes they have a violinist or a little quartet. It is a wonderful place to come to with your friends, have a few drinks, and enjoy some really good music. The Safari Club is a really cool place to be. It has really awesome pool tables that actually balance out when the seas are rough. I'll let you have a look at this. As well as board games, and it just has this really cool African safari vibe to it. So it's really fun to go to. It's also a great place to meet for trivia, dance classes, and they do have other performances here as well. Sometimes they do section the back spot area for the top tier members of Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, but if it's open in general, it's a beautiful view of that aft wake that I love. Don't worry, this is not the only place you can see that beautiful wake. You can see it from the Windjammer as I showed you earlier in the aft. One of the coolest features of any ship, in my opinion, is the cinema. This is a true cinema. It's pitch black, soundproof, where you could actually enjoy your favorite movies. I absolutely love this feature on the ship. And for those of you worried about having eaten too much or you like to keep in shape, the gym aboard is for you. It has all the weight equipment you need as well as cardio and of course fitness classes.
And if you're a gambler or you feel lucky, they have a full casino that's more than willing to take your money. They feature pretty much every game that you would see in Las Vegas, of course, on board. And for those of you who want to catch the game, the Pit Stop is a great sports bar located right here outside the cinema on Deck 6. And it's really a great place to just have a beer or just have fun with friends. For those of you who like video games, this is a great place for you. It is for a fee but they do have it. And I can tell you one thing, hardly anybody uses it. So if you're into video games, this is the place for you, a fully stocked arcade. And of course, the cruise next place is such a great place to book your future cruise right on board. That's where you're gonna get the best benefits. Don't forget to tell them to assign it to me and I'll get you some onboard credits on top of it. The business center is a great place to go if you're like me and you work while you're on the cruise or if you just wanna print up boarding passes or something like that. This is a great place to do it. And if you've booked a group and you need the conference center, just let me know and I can help arrange that for you. They do have some shops aboard, certainly not as many as the Oasis or the Quantum class ships, but if you wanna buy some logo items or you need some toiletries, you can find them here. Pro tip, do not buy jewelry or use Rolexes here as they are typically a pretty poor value. I will tell you, I did find some pretty nice Gucci sunglasses and some Tom Ford fragrances for savings over what they would have cost me at home in Los Angeles. So the choice is totally up to you. And although you don't find lots of kids on this class of ships, especially on the longer itineraries, they do have a great program. So don't hesitate to bring them. We did find some and they got along. They made friends with other kids as well, but they are in the minority. And for those of you who want to splurge on a photography package or like to have the ship photographer take pictures of you, here's where you can get them. Now here is definitely a place to splurge. I love getting a massage on a cruise ship and Royal Caribbean's massages and celebrity are really, really good. In fact, most cruise ships are. So this is a place that I don't mind spending the money for. I had a great massage, great massage therapist, actually three of them, and I highly recommend it when you're on board.
All right, now let's look at some of the cabins. I'm going to show you some suites and this balcony cabin. This is a spacious balcony cabin. So this one's a little bit larger than your regular balcony cabin. They're a little bit worn. Remember, this is a little bit of an older ship, but they're still comfortable and worth the extra money, I think, compared to the smaller balcony cabins. The next category up are your junior suites. This cabin gives you a little bit more space. You get double crown and anchor points, and that's it. You do not get all full suite perks. Just remember that. I'm going to show you the real suites in just a minute. And here's where your suite perks really kick in, the grand suites. Once you hit a grand suite or higher, this is going to give you the concierge services, the concierge lounge, and so on and so forth. This is a grand suite. Once you hit this grand suite level and higher, it really brings a different class and a different vibe to your entire cruise vacation. So not only do you get more space, but you can see already it's nicer appointed. The linens are better, just all around better service and a lot more inclusivity, even though you still have to pay for Wi-Fi and drinks, which I think should be included in these suites, but they're not. Uh, the owner suite, which you're viewing here, is wonderful. This is one of my favorite suites I've ever stayed in. And there's not just a lot of space, but again, you have all of that beautiful wide balcony space. You also have a tub that has a jacuzzi in it with separate shower, of course, the upgraded linens, so on and so forth. And of course, the Grand Am is the Royal Suite. Always, always with a baby grand piano. There's only one on this Radiance class ship and that's it. The balcony is what really, really makes it lovely and it takes up almost the entire hump of the ship. For the best value on your next Royal Caribbean cruise, email me at gary.senderoff at cruiseplanners.com. Also visit my website at www.tourdoctors.com and sign up for my VIP email list. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my other cool videos, including North Pole and Antarctica. Thanks for watching, everybody.